Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop here. I want to take you on a quick uh, video tour of how Flash Player 10.1 works on the Android platform. We have Flash Player 10.1, the pre-beta build available on a Google Nexus One here, and the Nexus One is running Android 2.2, uh, also called Froyo. So uh, basically, what Adobe is doing is offering uh, people a, a basically a reviewer's build of Flash Player 10.1. So it's provided us with a list of uh, Flash optimized websites and we can choose things uh, to look at on this page and see how the content works. Uh, and you can see it's a decent list, not the biggest list in the world, but it's, but it's pretty good. Um, so uh, let's take it for a spin. Uh, actually the first thing I'm going to do is jump to some sites that I've bookmarked. So uh, we're going to go to a, a phone scoop website and this is a web page uh, with a uh, YouTube video embedded in the page, right? So normally, uh, normal behavior uh, on a mobile phone, when you try to play this video, A, it doesn't work, or B, it launches a standalone video player. Um, for example, on the iPhone, it would launch the YouTube player. With Flash 10.1 installed in the browser, the video will play right in the website hey everybody, as it is supposed to. We can uh, double tap on that and zoom in, and we can also go sideways, and it will recognize that we've done that and uh, reorient the screen. Now you'll pretty quickly notice one problem that we'll have that we'll run into uh, right away. Look how tiny the controls are; they're really small. Uh, it's hard to interact with the player uh, while it's um, while it's running. And in fact, I'd like to pause this, and uh, it's uh, being difficult. So even if I zoom in with the tools here, it's a little bit tough to deal with. And you can see that uh, you know now I can't control it at all. So I'm going to have to navigate away from that page to um, to stop the video. And that's a, a problem that I ran into consistently across all of the video sites. Um, the uh, the flash player works. It plays the video. Sounds good. Looks good. However, the controls for the player on the websites themselves are so small that they're difficult to interact with. So uh, let's go to uh, let's go to another website that I uh, tagged. We'll go to uh, uh, mtvmusic.com, and uh, this is going to be a music video. Uh, one of my favorite music videos, and um, MTVMusic.com is a is a website that MTV set up that has uh, basically every music video you can think of, uh, that, and you can watch them for free. And um, this one in particular happens to be my favorite, and of course it's all based in a Flash and won't work on any other phone. So let's see if we can get this to work. There we go. Now we've got it working right. So there it is. I mean, it's playing fully in the browser, mtvmusic.com, um, Metallica video, in line, you know, without launching a separate player. And uh, we'll rotate it sideways, and uh, you can see that it will uh, reorient itself. And, uh, you know, it, re it responds to touch controls, but again, you can see how small the, uh, you know, the pause button, the volume button, all that stuff is on the screen. So uh, it does work, you know, Flash content does work. Uh, so we will uh, look at our bookmarks and uh, we'll try one more thing. I'm going to show you Hulu.com. Now Hulu, of course, is a massive site. It's got 80,000 videos on it. And uh, a lot of them are, uh, you know, going to want to load right here. But you can see right here at the top, the Flash content that runs across the top of Hulu.com has automatically loaded and is playing as it is supposed to. Uh, on an iPhone or on many other devices, uh, even this top section here wouldn't work. Let's uh, click on a video and, uh, and look at this particular clip and see how it works. Of course, uh, we're 
performing all of our tests over Wi-Fi, not over T-Mobile's 3G network, um, because we wanted to make sure we had the optimum uh, possible experience in these tests. Uh, so you can see the problems it's having, you know, how slow it is over Wi-Fi. You can imagine that it's going to be a bit slower uh, and perform less smoothly uh, over 3G. So here we are waiting for this video, and we're waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and uh, who knows if or when this is going to start playing. Well, why don't we move on and, uh, and try some of the games. Uh, the games are, uh, are actually uh, much better than, the, um, than the, the Flash content on websites is. Uh, we'll go to um, the South Park Studios game, which I happen to think is pretty fun. Let's you create avatars, uh, South Park avatars. And uh, we can choose a character here and we'll put some clothes on him. And you can see how it uh, quickly it responds, and uh, we're changing shirts. We can just generate random, random South Park characters. Um, this basically is a tool that uh, you know you can put in different hair, eyebrows, eyes, mouth, accessories, tops and bottoms, uh, or you can just have some fun and, and do the random and uh, and see what it uh, makes up on its own. So that's one flash game. You can see how fast it worked. Uh, we'll go to this. Uh, Nickelodeon one and uh, oh Spongebob let's try Spongebob so you can see the Spongebob game and uh, we'll hit play and you can see how nice it looks I mean it's uh, the graphics look rich and nice and it's uh, moving slowly excuse me quickly <laughs> seamlessly smoothly uh, so this looks like it's a, a maze type game We'll just hit play and see if we can figure it out on the fly. Uh, and it uh, looks like there's a different levels to play here. We're going to go with easy because I suck at video games. And engage. So uh, hit start. And uh, can't quite say what I'm supposed to do here. But uh, you can see how quickly it loaded. I mean, it loaded very fast. And uh, it's performing well. Um, the game is... Uh, looks good and has uh, nice colors and and the animation is all smooth and this is all being delivered over the web um, you know this is not preloaded on the device so having this level of performance on a on a web-based game is is obviously going to be appealing to uh, to many people so uh, that is a basic and quick look at flash player 10.1 on an android 2.2 device